so I don't know how you can see this. You can't. Uh, Foundry only as Tau has zero speedruns submitted. So I'm just gonna do it to have a speedrun. Tau Foundry Foundry only. Uh, if I get a decent time, I'll submit it. If not, oh well. Yeah, we're just gonna do it to do it. Uh, so for foundry only, you take the, you can take a weapon out of this chest. That's sad. Oh my gosh, this is so sad because that's the best crimson fire scale. But you know what? We're doing this. I'm committed to this. We're doing it live. Had a few test runs. Uh, you so reliant on getting Blade of Bloom, but. Uh, early. Uh, we got Blade of Bloom. Cool. I saw a gun. Can't look at it. Uh, what was our time? 25 seconds. It's fine. I'm so confused how you live that. So the the major difference between this run, like. One of the actual differences between this run and uh, the normal any percent outside of just being foundry only is you actually do uh, Big Baby Man at the end. Give me empathy. No, give me. I just realized that I actually have to fire this thing. So I get stacks of luminous heart. There's a skull up there. Uh, Furious Wave. Oh my gosh, we actually got double exhilaration. I don't even care that this is Golem and we're gonna lose time because it's Golem. Yeah, the thing about uh, another thing about low foundry three run is you can't even like upgrade the starting weapon because it's supposed to be foundry plus zero at the end of the run. Uh, I didn't even check out time. There we go. Corrosion is great. Uh, Swordsman is just yeah. 
plus uh eight times five is I mean eight times seven is I believe fifty four. Fifty six. Fifty six. Fifty six fifty six fifty six. I, it's just a 56% damage increase because I have one stack of, uh, the one thing. Uh, stay hydrated. I know I don't have to pause the game here, but, uh... I just realized what our time is. Why am I why am I on PV pace in a foundry only run? Probably should have just taken that improved clip because I'm not going back for it. I shot the gun drop and uh, instincts kicked in. things just got out yeah there we go Saving these because the uh, dark face bandit comes here. I mean, we got the longest possible lingzy too, so it's not. I no longer am like, oh my god, we're on PV pace. Like, this would have to be the shortest possible Aang Z3, which I don't believe this is, but this might actually be. Thank you, I literally just needed one and the game was just like, yeah, you gotta break all of these to find one. Right. This is a speed run, even though this is world record for now. Uh...
I mean, I'm honestly still on really good time. Okay, uh... Let's see here. I don't know why I dashed over there. I literally used less for this run. Um, I can't remember if I have played a blue one or two. If I have one, this fight's hard. If I have two, this fight's easy. <sighs> it's one. I mean, I also just have, uh... Right. I also just have 16 of the damn things, so... Even with Blade of Bloom 1, it's still great. Uh, safety measures. Hey, we got Blade of Bloom 2. Cool. Uh, having 16 Blade of Blooms makes this game way more consistent, actually. We got our 16. Uh, we're still in sub 10. Like, honestly, like, I would say this is on pace for a decent run. Uh, normally. So, we might... We might even see sub-20 for Foundry only, which is funny. Oh man, the game didn't spawn the, uh, I think it normally does. Uh, give me, give me Moke Chaser. 8% increased damage every time I use Peach Blossom. Good. Hold up, what does this do again? Honestly, because I'm Foundry only, that's just extra lucky shot chance. Bricks, can you believe it? We found a use for uh, bullet light.
Oh my gosh, that actually has collision when it comes to, uh... Blade of, uh, Peach Blossom. Uh, I don't know why I picked that up, actually. Like, a legitimate benefit to doing this run, like, quote-unquote benefit to doing this run, is that, uh, you don't have to loan you money management for the speedrun. Like, that's, that's just not a thing you have to worry about. Man, I really want to pick that up, but, uh, can't use it. Can't even switch to it for the move speed. We got snake uh games being nice to us tonight which is really nice actually don't know why i bought decay driver it's literally useless but uh i'm normal speed really nice So yeah, the reason the game, the uh, rule set lets you pick up the starting weapon is because there's uh, scrolls that talk about when you swap a weapon and the the, the mods that speedrun.com just didn't want. Is it speedrun.com or .net? Um... The mods didn't want there to be useless scrolls in the game, so they were like, hey, you can pick these up just so you can use them. 15.38. Literally about as good as my runs where I didn't get Blade of Bloom. I think that just goes to show how much Blade of Bloom actually carries this this character and this speedrun. Cause, cause like as I said, Tau like the straight up the tower run is half of, is half the time of every other character. Like this this character is the fastest character in the game, but it's very high risk high reward because without Blade of Bloom, you're well. I mean, without Blade of Bloom, you're going the same speed of the other characters.
Wait, no, I want that. I want that. I want that. I want that. Because that effect is... That, that's so good, actually. Holy crap. I saw that Demon Lord drop. Sadness. I really want to take the Demon Lord, but... As I have discussed, this is a uh, foundry only speedrun. Uh, can't pick up weapons because the foundry has to be plus zero for the entire run. Yeah, normally the speedrun is done with uh, King Yan because you take the you get the ability that uh, increases your cleave damage for every kill. I mean, I'll take Blood and Bloom, so yeah. Uh, I wanted all that stuff. I'll, I'll gladly w waste like 3-4 seconds to get all that stuff. I should have grabbed it when I was down there, but I didn't. Oh well, it's not like it's gonna cost me. In the future it might. Someone may like look at this room and be, me being like, Oh yeah, it's, it's, no one else has done this, so I'm gonna just do it and get world record, you know? Killing that before it gets the chance to do anything. You actually have to get that stuff because it just rolls off the side of the mountain for some reason. Not like this! How did I survive that? I mean, honestly, it may come down to that during the bear fight. So, all right, let's uh, let's do this. Do I do I over exaggerate at the end? Oh my god, I can't believe it! I'm on world record pace. Uh, let's hope I can do it, guys. <laughs> nah, I'm not that kind of person. It would be funny though. Would be funny. This is kind of exciting, though.
damn time. There we go, 2056. It's not the best time, but it's doable. I I think I want to call it here. It is currently 9 o'clock exactly. Good ending time. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I hope everyone here enjoyed it. Uh, last two runs were really good. I mean, this was done as kind of a joke, but kind of not at the same time. I was still trying my best to speedrun it as quickly as possible. Uh, Foundry only. It's fun. Uh, I, yeah, like, this, this run is kind of determined on the Blade of Bloom stuff, but yeah. Uh, yeah. Have a good day. Bye-bye.